All right, we'll give it just one quick second here. Stream is booting up. go. All right, looks like we are live. All right. It's one more minute, guys, and we're going to jump right on in here. There we go. All right, cool. All right, guys, let's jump on in. It looks like we've got a stream. It is moving. Everything is good. Let's just get right on into it. We're going to jump right into the review. So hang tight with any comments until the very end, and then we'll jump into a little Q&A. So with that said, YouTube and social media, peep this out, guys. It's Ian K back again with another one for you. Live on YouTube at the moment right now, or on the replay if you're catching this on the back end, we're about to get into something from BK. And I'm actually doing this as a request from my stepdad. He wanted me to check out these quote-unquote three large pancakes for 89 cents. So uh, I don't know about you, but this looks like the box that the Cheesy Tots come in, which is kind of small, flavor, full of flavor, 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 according to this here. So I guess is that like one for each pancake? I don't know. Let's just get right on into it and see what you get for 89 cents. Now, guys, these look a little on the small side. I know it looks kind of large because I'm holding it up to the camera here right now, as you can see, but... It is really a little on the uh, on the tiny side. Now, the funny thing about this, just before I get started, I actually did a collab review with Tony from Old Nerd Reviews, and uh, we took a look at some of the breakfast platters that were offered by both BK and McDonald's, and uh, we actually decided to evaluate and see which one was better. These pancakes are actually part of that ultimate breakfast platter that I did, and I'll actually put that link in the upper right-hand corner of the display over here um, in just a second. But... From what I remember, I don't know if I really like these very much. I remember they were just okay, um, but they are what they are. But this is what you get for 89 cents. It looks great for marketing, and they do look fairly toasty. But I got to be honest, these look a little bit on the microwave tip. Just a little bit on the microwave tip. I don't know. So let me just get these onto a plate. They're still pretty warm. I'm going to actually put these out here onto a tiny little situation that I've got set up here. Because, you know, it's all about preparing. This is live. You don't know what's going to happen. So it is what it is. And I've also got some BK syrup right there with the official uh, syrup there. It's kind of a nondescript syrup. Not sure who makes it for them. Uh, we have got some European-style whipped blend margarine from Sunglow that's on there, too. So let me put a little bit of the butter onto this here. I'm only going to put just a little bit on the very top just to kind of give it a little bit of flavor and I'm going to try the cut that's in there. But I do have to say when it's on the plate outside of the box, they are actually fairly decent in terms of the size there. So for value alone, I can tell you guys, these are actually not too bad at all in terms of that. But in terms of the flavor though, however, that's going to be the thing, right? It's all about the flavor. So let's get a little action going on here as you guys can see again I'm doing this live we're peeping this out up close fairly and pretty nice drippage on the uh, syrup there it's fairly thick all right here we go let's cut this up hopefully you guys are having a great morning or afternoon or if it's evening wherever you're at if you guys want to throw some comments in the uh, chat there let me know where you're actually uh, seeing this from that would be awesome all right fairly fluffy you know it doesn't say that these are buttermilk at all it just says pancakes so they're just kind of the generic style that's there but again microwave let's just see how it goes the three quote-unquote large pancakes for 89 cents over here at bk microwave <laughs> 
little on the dry, little on the dry side there. Hang on. Yeah, definitely. A little on the dry side. You definitely need some syrup. And of course, who wouldn't want to have pancakes without syrup, right? I guess you could, but let me try one more bite and I'll give you the, uh, the assessment breakdown. Aside from it just being very dry, uno memento here. I'm going to do one more quick little cut. And I'm trying to get that classic three trifecta on the fork right there, the three pancake trifecta, just so you know there. But just looking at it up close, as you can see, I mean, they're made pretty well, but honestly, I highly doubt these are just thrown onto the grill as soon as you order these things. I think these are just thrown from a package into a microwave and then you're good to go. I got to be honest, that's really what it tastes like. One more time. Here we go. Yeah, it's a microwave big time. Okay, I'm putting this one off to the side because I think we pretty much know what to expect from that. Let me start off by saying, from a marketing standpoint, it's actually a pretty good value. And I mean, naturally, for 89 cents, it looks great on the window. If you guys drive by your local BK, you're going to see them pretty much there, these really huge fluffy pancakes. It's okay for what it is. Now, it's part of the original ultimate platter breakfast that they offer anyway, um, which when I did it, I believe it was like $4.50, $4.99 in that ballpark range. And it's okay. Like I said, the value of what that was was just okay. For me, I got to be honest, I'm a little spoiled by the Denny's pancakes because of the buttermilk flavor in that, which is really, really nice. So it's kind of hard to compare something like that, and I'm trying very hard not to. So just rating this just on its own merit, it's an okay pancake flavor, a little bit on the generic side, but it is what to expect. Um, Flavor-wise, it's not a very rich pancake flavor, but it is pancakes, naturally. So it really is going to come down to, at this point, the quality of the syrup. And although it is pretty much like a maple-like syrup, it says maple flavor, although it's artificial maple flavor. It's not the full-on thickest you know, syrup that I've ever had, but it gets the job done. The margarine, again, that's kind of like a, a hit or miss thing there. You may like regular butter compared to margarine. I like regular butter personally. Um, but just let, for what this is, 89 cents, the value is easily a nine because of what it is. Advertising looks great. Flavor wise and the overall rating, I'm probably going to go maybe seven, seven out of 10 on this one. So bomb sexy for your face scale of one to 10, seven. I think if you're in a pancake mood and you want to have something and it's not the weekend and you're itching for a little bit of that quote unquote weekend breakfast food, I think this would be kind of a, a nice thing to swing on in and get. And being that nobody else really offers um, a pancake style side item like this or a main item for like less than a buck. It is a pretty good value. So that's the only thing. The only downside for me, unfortunately, is I really wish I would have gotten that cool little box that they came in. But being that these have been out for a little while, um, I can understand them going with the generic full of flavor, flavor, flavor. So I would say it's just okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so for 89 cents, pretty high. And, uh, and that's about it. So decent for what it is. All right, guys, that's it for this uh, first part of the live stream. This is Ian K closing out this portion of it, checking out the BK Three Large Pancakes for 89 cents. It's definitely okay for what it is, but again, you do have some other options out there if you're looking for a more fuller, fuller style of breakfast, I should say. Guys, if you haven't already, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Definitely check me out over at Peep This Out Reviews, along with hitting that little bell down next to my channel name down below this window right now so you can be notified when new reviews go live and of course keep in touch at all the social media links that i have in the description box as well and uh, as always it's as you know we always do it like this as always <laughs> as i'm getting tongue-tied because it's live um we'll definitely talk to you soon guys because after all this is peep this out stay frosty all right there we go another quickie review with a slight little snafu at the very end so for those of you guys who don't want to uh, hang out for a little bit of the Q&A and a little bit of the good stuff here, hope you guys enjoyed that little uh, look at the um, BK pancakes, which I'm really glad that I got to. And uh, incidentally, I'm going to be doing a few of the reviews that I haven't really had a chance to really designate full amounts of time to because of my schedule in general to do stuff like this. So if you guys like what you see, definitely drop those comments down below. Let me know what you think, what you'd like to see me review, um, some things that may have been out recently that I haven't gotten a chance to get to. Um, so I really want to make sure I deliver the content that you guys want to see on top of all the other stuff going on in my crazy life right now. So, um, not bad for what this is, but again, uh, more for marketing, if anything, it's going to get you to BK and then, uh, obviously have you take a look at whatever else is on the menu. 
So with that, I'm going to jump back over to the chat here. And uh, hopefully you guys are having an amazing day. Thank you so much for joining me, by the way. I know it's a little early for some people, depending upon where you are in the world. Um, I wanted to jump on and do this review for a little Q&A. So I'm not going to keep you too, too long, but we'll just see how it goes. And hopefully um, you guys like what you see. Let me start off at the top here right now and see what we've got. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, Sandy Ramundo, James Elliott, how you guys doing? Curly is on there. PNR comp guy, very cool. I'm going to basically answer uh, some questions. I'll make sure to read the, quest, uh, the question directly so you guys know exactly what I'm referring to because um, I know some is watching these on the replay. It could be like, you know, it's just not so fun watching them unless you really kind of interact with the camera and let you guys know what is it that I'm uh, talking about here. Morgan, how you doing? We've got La Quinta the Savage, how you doing? Josh, <laughs> you still live, did I miss it? Probably not if you're if you're up to this point here. I just, a uh, little bit of a, a stream issue in the very beginning because it is live, but hopefully the connection and everything looks good on your end. Robert Singer, you do a great job, thank you. Thank you so much, I appreciate that. Charles, he's here, very cool, welcome, welcome. And I'm gonna go down the line here. Sandy McDonald's is microwave too. Yes, they are, but they're a little different. I got to be honest. They're a little unique compared to uh, the BK there for sure. All right. Let's see. The Cult 45 show from San Diego all up in this right now. I appreciate that. Thank you for uh, joining in from down south there, Lake Forest. I used to live down in Irvine off of Lake Forest, not too far. Foothill Ranch, actually, a few years back. Dilbert Doe, one of my favorite uh, subscribers. He's always first pretty much on uh, most things there with my little symbols that he's posting up with the eyes and the magnifying glass. Very great to uh, see you guys here. Griffin likes peanut butter on his. Yeah, peanut butter on pancakes. That's got to be interesting. Got to be interesting. Sandy, got them last week, saw the girl from behind the counter take them out of plastic and into the microwave. Yep, yep, you still get them. Look, it's fast food. I get it's supposed to be fast. Um, it's nice to when you get something that's like the quality to really go with the efficiency. Um, so that's always good there. But I guess it is what, what to expect, you know, kind of when you go to these places. Lewinstein right there. Holy peep, live it is. Said, said it just like a true Star Wars Yoda fan. <laughs> oh, very cool. Let's see, the Cult 45, have you done Burger King's Cheesy Tots? Yes, pretty recently. If you jump onto my channel, you'll see that pretty much towards the top if you click videos or just check the BK playlist where you'll also find my um, review with uh, Old Nerd Reviews on the Ultimate Breakfast Platter versus McDonald's uh, Breakfast Platter that we did about a little over a year ago now. But I'll also have that link, like I said, you'll have it um, accessible here right after when I put the uh, replay together. Uh, hey man, let's see, Cass, can you say hi to Cassidy? Of course I can say hi to Cassidy. Cassidy, how you doing? Welcome to Peep This Out live here on YouTube. It is uh, great to have you guys here, um, everybody who is up right now. Christina, great review up here in Canada. We have a McDonald's waffle cut fries. Yes, I'm very envious of some of the things you guys have over there. Um, I really love to check out some of those things. Hopefully whatever goes on over in Canada eventually makes its way down this way and usually vice versa, right? That's usually how it goes. So uh, let's see here. Very bomb sexy, especially when you get them in poutine. Yeah, no, no doubt, no doubt. Poutine in general is just ridiculously good. All right. Cult 45, can you do a review of the Burger King Cheesy Tots? All right, well, I think we know the answer uh, to that one. All right, Josh, that was awesome. I'm glad you liked it, Josh. Thanks for jumping on this morning or this afternoon, depending upon your area of the country or the world. Uh, da, 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 da. Griffin loves the live reviews. I love them too, actually. This is like my uh, my second official one, I guess you can say. Getting better with some of the, uh, the things in the production of what I'm going to be doing background-wise here. So Let's see, do you like Jack in the Box pancakes? You know what, I do. Um, that's actually coming from the Cult 45 show. Do you like Jack in the Box pancakes? Take a look at my Jack in the Box playlist on um, YouTube, obviously, on my channel. And uh, you'll see I did a review on their, uh, their, their ultimate breakfast platter, their version that they did as well with those eight mini pancakes. Um, that was a blast to do. Those things, I gotta say, for quote unquote microwave style as well, definitely pretty great. So take a look at that, not to spoil too much of it for you, but I think you know I liked it. Uh, let's see. These are not the pancakes you're looking for. <laughs> Wave sand. <laughs> Very true. I am so ready for Rogue One in a couple of days. I'll be doing a live stream uh, review of that myself the very next day after I watch the first show on Thursday night. 
Um, so I'll be coming back in the next day. So uh, you'll see some ad for that too later on, um, probably tomorrow that I'll put up for that one. Uh, da, da, da. What fast food places make the best breakfast in your opinion? That's coming from your boy fat. Well, I got to say your boy, um, I would probably say that Carl's Jr. and or Hardee's, I should say, probably make some of the better breakfast items out there. Some of the iconic breakfast items from McDonald's, obviously, are always going to be pretty awesome. The Egg McMuffin, McGriddles, um, some of the uh, bacon, egg, and cheese biscuits are pretty awesome. But I would say pretty much um, Carl's Jr., though, they have some crazy delicious stuff. Very cheesy, very hearty. Um, there's the ultimate breakfast sandwich. There's all kinds of things as well. Jack in the Box is up there too. They have an ultimate breakfast sandwich, which is pretty much everything under, under um, you know, under the sun in one bun, which is pretty awesome. So some great stuff there. Some definitely great stuff uh, from them. Uh, let's see, Cass, uh, love you, man. Keep up the reviews. Thank you, thank you so much. I will. I've got a lot of stuff coming. I'm going to be hitting up uh, probably Disneyland tomorrow, and I'm going to be trying an experiment with something here. So you may see that on the channel if it goes well, um, maybe by the weekend. We'll have to see what happens with that one. Let's see, Colt 45, you should come out of San Diego and check out Jack in the Box headquarters. That would be pretty awesome. You know, I would love to swing on down and check out some of the test kitchen stuff. I know that they have a Taco Bell in Irvine on the way down. Um, I would love to check out some of the things they've got going over there. One of my favorite things I've seen from Conan O'Brien is when he actually went to Taco Bell and brought one of his, uh, I believe, his interns with him because they just love it so much. And uh, yeah, for sure, we're definitely going to be uh, thinking about doing something like that in the future. If the opportunity arises, I'll definitely, I'd love to film it. Let's see here. Uh, we have I Lyncher. How did you meet Carol Juju? Well, that was actually through my sister, actually. They worked for a culinary school. Uh, together at the time and um, I noticed her when I went to go visit my sister for lunch and then kind of just dovetailed from there Let's see Colt 45. Can you review the El Pollo Loco barbacoa? You know, I was thinking about that The only downside to me doing it is that in order to really do that justice You'd want to get it with the pico de gallo with the onion with you know all of the things that I'm not a super fan of But if you want to see me do a bare bones bar barbacoa review just with the meat itself I guess it's just to check the quality of it I'll see if I can uh, squeeze that in. Maybe we can do it live. I think that I'd probably feel like uh, doing that one live with you guys. So that would be pretty awesome. Let's see. Rogue tickets for Thursday. Yes, 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 yes. Have you ever had Boston chicken? P PNR comp guy asks, have you ever had Boston chicken? Not sure. No, actually, no. I've heard of Boston market. It's not the same thing. But uh, not Boston chicken. I have to take a look and see what's up with that. James is going to be at Disneyland tomorrow as well. It's very possible, very possible for sure. Usually when I'm there with uh, Carol, we usually kind of post up where we're at and all that type of thing there. So if you guys happen to see me floating around over there, just swing on by and say hi. And uh, I'll make sure I've got some of my cards to give you guys, which would be uh, kind of fun. I love meeting uh, people out in public and, and stuff like that. It's always fun. Okay, do you know what's going on with YouTube? I'm hearing that YouTube is broken is a question from the Cult 45 show. You know, there's a lot of um, controversy going on right now with views and videos not being pushed and basically smaller channels not getting the, the, the throughput for advertising. Um, I've noticed a dip in my subscribers, um, and, well not subscribers, but views. Um, it's been a little difficult um, trying to gauge where it's coming from, but my only thing is with this is usually around this time of the year there are things like this that happen. Um, but obviously everyone is feeling an impact to some degree where it feels like where you put up a video and either you lose a few subscribers in the beginning or the views just don't really trend where they need to compared to uh, what, it's, uh, what it's been doing or what you're used to seeing. So um, in terms of that, I, I can't say if it's true or not. Obviously there's so many high profile YouTubers right now that are talking about this. Um, but naturally for me, I have seen a little bit of a dip, so I'm, I tend to lean towards, yeah, there is something going on. But as with anything, you just got to ride the wave. You just got to ride the wave. There are peaks and valleys with everything, no matter what you do in life, no matter what's going on. There are going to be high points and low points. My responsibility in terms of that I put on myself, my OCD in terms of how I, I handle my channel, and as well as just doing for you guys, because I love all of you guys, is to just keep putting content out you know, every single week like I always do, regardless of whatever the situation is and uh, just go from there. That's my main thing is to continue just keep doing what I love to do and uh, keep putting the content out. We'll let the details in the background sort themselves out. When things are supposed to happen, they will, but in the meantime, I'm not gonna hang up on that um, and wait. So I just wanna make sure that I, um, I do what I enjoy doing, which is producing content here on YouTube for my channel. 
Uh, let's see here. I lent your Ian, check out The Habit. Yeah, you know, The Habit I go to every so often and I've been contemplating doing just a basic burger review. Um, so there's a few things that I'd like to do that are kind of the basic stuff that I haven't actually reviewed for my channel just to get done. So I have some plans leading into December or actually into January, I should say, with my schedule um, already filled for this month that I'm working on. But believe me, you'll see some of those things there. I'd like to do uh, at least one or two habit reviews just to make sure I have them in the portfolio. All right, let's see here. Da, 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 da. Cold 45, do you like UCLA sports? I like pretty much all sports. I don't really follow anything specific, but whatever happens to be on, I usually tend to gravitate towards basketball either way because it's more kinetic and it's just more entertaining to watch. Um, baseball is all right. Um, depends upon the game and who's playing, I guess, but it's usually a snooze fest, most of it, <laughs> unless you're there watching it live and having like a flat beer and a hot dog to go because that's the main thing. So it is what it is. Let's see here. Da, 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 da. All right, Albanitez, if you're ever in West LA and specifically Culver City, you got to try Tito's Tacos. I'll take a look at that. You know, there's some uh, local stuff that I'm uh, working on too, just to add every so often in between the fast food stuff. So I'll take a look at that and see uh, what's new over on, uh, on the other side of town based upon where I live over here. King Taco in LA, definitely. We have a King Taco actually. Um, closer to Commerce, California, and we also have one uh, here in Pasadena. So I've definitely had King Taco from the Cult 45. Uh, da, da. Okay, Albanitez won't be disappointed. Try and maybe review the restaurant one day soon. And that's for that Tito's. Have to check that out and see. Let the, the Charles Turner. So many people have vlogs nowadays, but very few have watchable content. Your channel is great. Charles, thank you. Thank you so much. There is pretty much uh, a main category on YouTube, which is vlogging, that everybody, a lot of people do. I know that. Um, I don't really do it as much. I guess these live reviews are, can be considered, um, I guess, the vlogs after we do the review itself there. So maybe we'll see about a separate vlog channel if you guys like what you uh, you see. I don't know. There's, uh, the future is can go in any which way, shape, and form. So it's all a matter of channeling those energies. But um, I agree. I agree. But I'm th Charles, thank you. I appreciate you. Um, you're saying that. I'm glad you're enjoying the content I'm putting out there. Is that Nerfe or Nerf? Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correct. How's it going? He's all, hi Ian, how's it going? I'm good, I'm good. Things are going well. Hope things are going well with you too, my friend. Yep, The Habit, The Cult 45 Show. Can you do The Habit Santa Barbara Style Burger? I'll put that down there and I'll take a look and maybe we'll do like the double char or something like that. And we'll, um, we'll see if we can knock out one of those reviews in the near future there for sure. So uh, we'll see what we can do there. Da, 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 da. Okay, have you ever been to Sugarfish? I lent your ass. Have you been to Sugarfish? I've never been to Sugarfish. Never been. But again, if you guys have any of these uh, suggestions, drop them in the comments down below for sure. And especially once the replay goes live again, um, after it's um, private and I have to do a little quick editing things to add things to it there, make sure you add those in the description uh, comments area actually. And um, I'll make sure I take a look at it and write some stuff down for sure. Uh, da, da, da. Sandy, Charles is right. Format is the best. Good info and fun. Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Love Halloween. Absolutely. I do as well. Those reviews, um, especially around that whole month and the very last one with Joey was pretty awesome to put together. I enjoyed that. I love the effects and, and doing what I need to do. Um, always a blast. Always a blast. All right. Let's see here. Charles, later days, got to go take care. Charles, thanks so much for uh, checking in. And of course, you can catch the replay later on when you have some more time. Hopefully, uh, you'll get some other uh, answers to some questions that you may see from some of the people here. Um, definitely doing my best to keep up with a bunch of them here. Let's see, Nick Lamonte. How you doing, Nick? It's great to see you. I recognize the avatar with that fist in there. Have you ever been to Johnny Rockets? Yes, I have, actually. It's a really, really solid place. We have one in the Santa Anita Fashion Park, close to uh, where I live here. And I go there once in a while. Uh, let's see here. Da, da, da. All right, PNR, comp guy, got to run. Keep it real. Very cool. Best to you and your wifey for the holidays. And to you and yours as well, PNR, comp, gay, comp guy, I appreciate that very much. All right. Uh, Cult 45, have you ever been to Pink's? Have you ever been to Pink's Hot Dogs in Hollywood? Yes, I have. And unfortunately, I don't have an official review on my channel, but if you swing over to my buddy Ken Domic's channel on KBD Productions TV, you'll see when he was out doing the West Coast food tour, I was part of that. And we did a review at that Pink's uh, in Hollywood, which was a lot of fun there. So definitely look that video up. 
it's uh, still doing pretty amazing view-wise on his channel, which is pretty awesome. So yeah, great, great stuff indeed. Great stuff indeed. Well, we've got 23 people that are watching this right now. And again, if we can get those thumbs up for this video, um, it may help with some of the algorithm issues apparently that YouTube may be experiencing or pretty much is experiencing right now. So if you guys can really hit those thumbs up and uh, help this uh, video trend, that would be awesome completely. Let's see, uh, Nerf here, Ian, not to be too intrusive, but what is your profession? Well, you know, I do a little voiceover work here and there, um, as need be there, working in some film. Um, as for the most part, that's my main thing um, in general there. But I was actually doing something um, in wireless for the previous 17 years before that. So let's just say I've done pretty okay in that department uh, for a while. But I'm much more uh, happier pursuing my creative end of it and also being much happier in life, which is always the plus. You should always be happy in life no matter what you do. Just be happy. Life is too short. And as Christopher Walken always says, we're not getting out of here alive. So do what makes you happy. Just live like the way you want to live. Enjoy life. Experience things. And don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Let's see. I Lynch here. What's your thought on the hate Ken has been getting lately? Do you think he's burnt out? I would not say that particularly. I know that, you know, as a creator on YouTube, I can tell you right now, it's all a matter of... Um, really thinking about the next steps of your channel as you're creating content and evolving and growing. Um, and I'm all for trying different things and doing different things and, and everything as well. But everyone's going to have an opinion of everybody else there. But until you really kind of walk in their shoes and you know them, and I know Ken, um, he's a great guy who loves what he does and he loves trying different things and doing different things and experiencing different things. So, you know, the fact that he does what he does for you guys on a daily basis and for me as well and for all of us, to basically put himself out there on his vlogs every day on top of his food reviews. I don't know how the guy sleeps and has time to exercise. You know, I try and do the best I can with that. And he's doing content that is just crazy. So uh, honestly, I really just commend him for doing what he does. And he does it to the best of his ability. And uh, it's always a blast to watch his content personally. And if it's different, it gives you that much more to tune in to see what's going to happen next, which is kind of cool. Anthony Smith, can you uh, email me? Can you mail me a McRib? <laughs> they still don't have it over there. Anthony, that's right. I remember answering your, your questions on that online. You know what? It, it's really a sad thing that it's not everywhere at the same time nationally. Um, and not to rub it in, but I had a McRib yesterday again. I felt the need to do it. I've had it like four times now since it's been out. Um, but man, believe me, if I can get one to you there, I, I would mail it overnight if I could. But I got to be honest, it's not that great once it gets a little cold. And just to get it to you that way, I think if you were to get it, it would be just a far cry of what it could be had you just gotten it fresh in store. So if I can just send maybe a message over to McDonald's SoCal to get the message to McDonald's National because I work with them in the past and say, you know what, what's going on back east? Um, that would be awesome to see if I can try and help you there, Anthony. But yeah, no bueno, man. I, I just I feel for you with that. I really feel for you. That's just not cool at all. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Laura Shrum, did you ever get to eat at Oli Frioli in Tular? Awesome Mexican food. I've never heard of that place. And if they're closed now, it looks like I've never had a chance to experience it. <laughs> Laura, I apologize. Uh, let's see. Incidentally, guys, I probably should have mentioned this at the top, but you can actually view some other content that I do once in a while on You Now. If you jump over to You Now and just look for uh, my profile, just search Peep This Out or hashtag Peep This Out, you'll find it there. Make sure you're signed up on that. I sometimes jump online, um, usually later at night after I get out of the gym, just to kind of chat for a little while. So that's one of the reasons that the You Now logo is in the corner of my um, thumbnail. So for sure, definitely uh, check that out if you are interested and um, seeing some other stuff there too. Uh, let's see, Colt 45, ever tried Baja Fresh? Colt 45, yes I have, we do have ba uh, Baja Fresh here. The only thing I get there is their bean and cheese burrito because it is ridiculously thick and it's hearty and I add chicken to it all the time. That's pretty much my only thing. That's my go-to once in a while when I go there. All right, let's go down the line here a little bit. Just a few more minutes on this one here, guys. I don't want to let it go too much past the, uh, the half hour mark. Let's see, Ken is great. Veggie reviews are ugh. Okay. Everyone's entitled to their opinion on those, of course. It's great content for people that want to check it. It's all about variety with some of these things, guys. All about variety. All right. Flutter Pony Legends. Okay. If Burger King only made pancake, better pancakes. Yeah, it is what it is, like I said. 
All right, AJ, hopefully you saw this before, this a uh, little bit of a delay on the stream here, but got to go. It was nice seeing you. Actually having quick interac or interaction with a YouTuber I've subbed to for over a year now. Very cool. Thank you so much again, uh, AJ. I appreciate that, and uh, definitely I'll make note of that. Tito's Tacos. Um, of course, drop those comments down below, and uh, we'll see if we can get to some of those in the future here. Okay, what's your favorite item? from the Jack in the Box brunch fist menu. You know, I have to say, as much as I like that chicken brunch, brunch fist sandwich, um, which was awesome, I actually reviewed that on um, Reckless Eating's channel when we actually tried that. Um, that Southwest Scrambler plate that I did was pretty awesome. I did that as a cheater's cam after hours, actually, which you guys can find on the Jack in the Box playlist on my channel. Um, and it was, it was pretty awesome. So that really was a pretty good value, uh, for sure. All right, Sandy, gotta go too. Happy holidays to you as well. Happy holidays to you as well. All right. Another couple here real quick, guys. Let's see. AJ, appreciate that very much. All right. Cult45, you and Healthy Junk Food should do a review or make something on their channel. I would love to do something with, uh, with uh, JP and Julia at some point in the near future here. We had a lot of fun at CraveCon and also VidCon and uh, all of the things that we've interacted with uh, in the past uh, online there. So that would be something to kind of be kind of cool for a collab in the future there, for sure. They're, uh, they're really cool peeps, really cool peeps. All right, sorry, my husband is from Tulare, California. He said it was the best. That was from Laura. Uh, awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, let's see, I keep up the great work. Anthony Smith, sad situation, keep up the great work. I know, man, it is. I feel your pain, like I said, I, I'm with you on that one, for sure, Anthony. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, Regular Falls. Was there a restaurant that you love but sadly closed down? Um, wow, let's see here. You know what? Actually, there was. In Pasadena, I didn't actually get a chance to review it, but I was working with the management at this restaurant. It was a place called Major Dave's. Um, pretty much a flash fried fried chicken um, spot that you can basically go into and order uh, chicken like that. They have a whole bunch of sides, but... Um, like a cream cauliflower, a cheesy mac and cheese type of thing. Some stuff that I really wanted to uh, take a look at. And uh, unfortunately, they closed down uh, around this time last year, I believe. I think it was like right before the holidays. Uh, and I was getting set to get that going. And the person that I was working with, who actually, um, she left that company, obviously, because they closed, decided to go to a French restaurant on the west side of town. And um, pretty much that was the last that I had heard from her. So Major Dave's was, uh, was pretty... Um, was something I wanted to show you guys because I've had it in the past and it was really, really good. There are similar places. I believe there's one in Culver City. I'm, I'm trying to think about what the name is, but it escapes me right now. Um, but there's something similar. So I'd love to check out something like that for sure. Uh, da, 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 Nick Lamonte here. What do you think of uh, Arby's venison roast sandwich? You know, I saw that. Um, for those of you who may not know, Arby's has been test marketing in certain markets. Actually, I think it's only one or two markets. Um, I want to say Midwest or down south. Where they actually have venison on the um, on the menu, which is crazy. Um, so I haven't actually tried that, but I think that'd be pretty awesome to try. I don't know how gamey it would be, uh, but I'd be curious if anything there. Christina, what's going on, Christina Carp? How you doing? Nice to see you on here. I'm gonna be on here for another couple of minutes here. Okay, Tito's Tacos is amazing. It's almost as close to the LAX airport. Okay, good to know. I was actually just there picking up the wifey from Vegas a few days ago, so I'll take a look and see where that may be. Uh, let's see. Let's see. <laughs> I Lyncher, when are you and Carol going to create some mini Ian's? <laughs> Gotta love the comment section here. Gotta love the comment section here. To be continued. All right, let's see here. Another couple of questions, and I'm going to close this one out, guys. We're coming up on that half part here. Let's see here. Let's see, Cult45, do you know a YouTuber from Minnesota? He does food reviews. His name is, his channel name is Happy Man Snacks. Yes, I know. His name is Trey, and he's an awesome guy. Happy Man Snacks. He uh, definitely does his thing over there. Uh, very busy doing his thing, for sure, there, but some pretty great content. But I uh, love his end song that he has at the end of his videos, for sure. He is uh, He's a really cool guy. His name is Trey. All right, Laura, take care. I'm going to be winding this down as well. Appreciate it very much. Thank you so much, guys, for hitting that like button on this right here. And again, once this goes live, you'll be able to uh, watch the replay if there's anything that you may have missed from earlier. For those of you guys who are not able to jump on, obviously, in the very beginning live, um, all future live videos that I'm going to tell you right now, right when I start them, I'm going to jump right into the review, do everything all the way through, and then jump right to the... Um, 
to the chat so that way it doesn't go too long and people who want to just check out and see what I thought of the review in question can uh, basically just get that all in. So that'll be the format going forward. And incidentally, I am going to be uh, doing that a Rogue One live stream review, my own personal review, maybe some light spoilers, nothing to really give away anything there, just what I thought of it and just some basic chat um, the day after on Friday. Um, so I'll be watching it Thursday, this coming Thursday in a couple of days. And uh, then we'll have uh, we'll have that to do. So it's going to be a blast to do there. So guys, with that, I think I'm going to close this live stream out. I appreciate you guys jumping on here uh, right now to uh, see what I had to say about the 89 cent pancakes, the three quote unquote large <laughs> pancakes from BK right now. Pretty interesting. Like I said, it's all marketing for what it is. But uh, I appreciate you guys jumping on as always. This is Ian K closing out the live stream officially right now. Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you guys haven't already. A lot of fun stuff on my content. Do hit the little bell next to my channel name down below in the description area that you'll see right above it, I should say, um, so you can be notified when new reviews go live along with the issues going on with YouTube right now. We want to make sure you guys are getting the notifications along with checking me out over Peep This Out reviews and, of course, keeping in touch with all the social media links that I have down below. Um, we have all that stuff there for you guys. And again, you now is uh, definitely something you want to check out. A lot of fun to do um, on there for sure there. And uh, as always, you know, it's like how we do it, guys. As always, it's Ian K. Stay frosty.